Welcome back to Lunch of the Market on this holiday shortened week. If we are correct, Thursday the markets will be closed and then Friday they'll be open but will close at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Talk about a quick day on the West Coast on Friday. They'll be done at 10 a.m. Once again, Brad made the right call in terms of fantasy football quarterback, putting Vic back on the bench just in time for him to shelve his Superman cape for a tough match against the NFL's number one defense in the Giants. If it weren't for Peyton Manning throwing as many interceptions as he did touchdowns, we might have pulled out a win this week in fantasy football. Too bad we don't have a choice of receivers like we do in quarterbacks. We are playing the NFL's most underappreciated and frankly rarely used group of wideouts who could probably have and still have a shot at winning each week. Okay, so enough football, although looking forward to the Saints and the Bengals playing on Thanksgiving Day, despite the fact that the Bengals can apparently find a way to lose any game in which they play, Brad refuses to give up on the city of his birth, even if that's all Brad actually did in Cincy before being moved out of there shortly after by his parents. Here we go, on to the stocks you need to know. We are looking at two things today, copper and financials. Southern Copper is selling off today. The stock is down 3% today and there is enough premium in the options for the 40-35 put spreads for us to be short. The stock is trading at $43.25, down over a dollar today, and we took in 50 cents for selling the December 40-35 put spreads. That's a 1-10 to 10 risk reward and the max will do on a short spread. The stock will need to, to fall close to another 10% in order for us to get in trouble and there are t only 26 days left until December OPEX, less than 4 weeks of which the holidays this week and this weekend will eat up a good bit of them. This week is almost a throwaway. It's half over now and we'll lose another day and a half on Thursday and Friday. Take a look at SCCO. The stock did break its uptrend line when it broke $44, but it's been since October 13th that the stock traded below $40 and we like the name. They pay a strong dividend and $2.3 billion in cash on hand. They have nearly a one-to-one -one ratio of cash to debt and their forward PE is only 14 with a peg ratio of 0.7. We really do like SCCO and we like shorting the spreads. Under 40 will actually add to our long position in the stock. The other name that jumps out at us is Goldman Sachs. The stock is insane on valuation. The stock trades with a PE of 9.09 .09, thanks to the constant headline risk. That's where a news story that comes out can whack the stock prices. Their forward PE is even better, 8.91. They have $802 billion in cash and only $406 billion in debt. They have it about $1,569 per share in cash. Needless to say, it's not hard to make a case that Goldman is cheap. Full year EPS sits around $17.56. With a 10 multiple, the stock should be worth $175.60. We are shorting the 150, 140 put spreads in Goldman Sachs, and the stock opened up at $164.38 after closing at 166.67 last Friday. So a decline of $16 or 10% would get you down to that 150 level. If we see that happen, we'll roll, the, roll those down and out and add put spreads at a lower strike to take in something for December. Other than these, we do like Bank of America from the long side down here close to $11, but there's no premium in BAC or any of the other financials to be selling spreads. So we like BAC, and JPM from the long side of, on this decline. The financials may be dead money for some time though, so you'll have to be willing to sit on these holdings. If you want faster money, you'll have to look elsewhere today. The rest of the names look very healthy today in declines of around 1% and in some cases trading up. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.